the story has many instances of unexpected reactions. Instances, I have given unexpected means a pratyashit, which is not a doubt, which is not a doubt. A pratyashit pratikriyaye, which is not a doubt, which is not a doubt. The question is, the story has many instances of unexpected reactions from the characters to others' behavior. Pick out those instances and surprises and mention. As you can see, in this way, Ashtarya is shown. In Ashtarya, the Ashtarya is the pratikriya, the apratyashit pratikriya, the apratyashit. The stories, many instances are there in the story of unexpected reaction. First, when Crofter is not surprised at seeing a total stranger, opens the door, welcomes him, treats him well, this is a very unexpected behavior. Even Peddler felt very unexpected behavior. Then you can write a little more on that. Second, the Iron Master's behavior, he felt glad to have the peddler and peddler realized later that it is a case of mistaken identity. But at least in the beginning, behavior of Iron Master was also a great surprise. Not only that, when he comes to know that he is not so and so, Whatever generosity he had showered on him, he immediately reacts to it. The moment he wants to, he learns, he wants to throw him away. The moment he comes to know about the truth, he wants to throw him away. That was also a surprise. Why? Once you have called somebody, treat him well. And stranger had never thought that I am a case of mistaken identity. Stranger ne bilkul nahi socha ya samjha ki yahaan kuch galat fahmi ho gai hai isko samajhne mein ki mein koon hoon. Usko asa idea nahi tha. So, when he was asked to go away, that was also a surprise to him. Third instance, the behavior of the girl, Edla, when she insists on her father. She goes against the wishes of her father and keeps this man for Christmas celebration. She, she conducts herself so well uh, with too much of sympathy. She takes care of this man and shows that the man is very comfortable and also helps this man in reaching new heights of human values. Uske andar ki jo human values thi, usko nikalne ki bhi, itna swagat kiya, itna uska satkar kiya, itna uske saath atith, itna achha kiya, ki peddler jo swayam ek tarikhe se chori bhi kiya tha, bikhari pana bhi tha, uske andar ki bhi bhaavnaye saamne aage. Aur woh bhaavnaye usne kaise vyakt ki, that you can read from the letter that he wrote at the end. Thankfulness, regards, presenting a red trap, rat trap, trying to ret returning the money that he had stolen and what not. These show the surprise reactions, instances of surprise reactions. Question four. What made the peddler finally change his ways? Antata, peddler ne apne tarike kaise badle? What made him change? You know, Edla's behavior. Edla's sympathetic approach to the peddler, even, even after knowing that he is not the same man, he is a thief. Wo jaan gai thi Edla ki ye chor hai. फिर भी उसने उसके साथ बहुत अच्छा बर्ताव किया। फिर भी उसके साथ कड़वाहट से पेश नहीं आ रही थी। सिंपेथेटिक अप्रोच 
towards peddler even after knowing that he was a thief changed his heart transformed him into a better man he was grateful to her and completely changed himself while leaving her house he expresses his gratitude showers affection presents a gift leaves the stolen money etc etc that shows the change of heart in peddler because of the behavior of edla question number 5 how does the metaphor metaphor matlab kya hota hai kisi cheez ko roopak maan lena how does the metaphor of the rat trap serve to highlight the human predicament predicament matlab paristhiti अजीब परिस्थिति वो प्रेडिकामेंट चूहे दानी के रूपक मानव परिस्थिति को आ, कैसे उजागर करता है इट्स ए लिटल टफ क्वेश्चन बट इट इज द क्वेश्चन हुज आंसर इज द मैसेज फ्रॉम दिस स्टोरी एंड सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन हाउ डज द मेटाफर ऑफ द रैट ट्रैप सर्व टू हाईलाइट द ह्यूमन प्रेडिकामेंट the metaphor rat trap is used very effectively by the author uh, to highlight human predicament she projects the world as a big trap the author makes the world as if it's a big rat trap a trap which has baits jisme jaale jaal hai ek maya jaal hai a trap which sets baits for people and how these baits are set kis tarah ka jaal hai ye baits through riches joys shelter food clothing and what not wealth property family children parents etc etc the moment one gets tempted to any of these baits the rat trap closes in on the person and everything comes to an end in the story the peddler is lost in one such rat trap he is lost in one such rat trap how there are many incident that you will find where he finds himself close to the rat trap though he managed to escape but he found himself at time as if he is fallen in the trap at the crofter's house money was a big bait he gets tempted steals it runs away through the forest peddler gets lost in the jungle and realizes that he has fallen into a trap trying he keeps trying desperately to get out of it but now he and comes into another trap while he is trying to get out of it the other trap is the iron master's forge he is unable to resist edla's constant request for coming home for joining her for christmas he is unable to resist and he says yes and walks with her reaches the manor house which is again another bait for him however his uh, uh, self realization and the transformation that comes makes him a noble man makes him be a better person and it is prevents him that that feeling prevents him from falling into another trap he was nearly trapped but thanks to edla's behavior that good qualities comes out of him realization comes in him and he decides to become a noble man the peddler this is the next question question 6 the peddler comes out as a person with a subtle sense of humor subtle sense bahut bahut andar tak uske jo 
सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर है हाउ डज दिस सर्व इन लाइटनिंग द सीरियसनेस ऑफ द थीम जो पूरी कहानी है जो बड़ी सीरियस लग रही है इसको हल्का करने में ये सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर कैसे मदद करता है और किस प्रकार ऑल्सो एंडियर्स हिम टू अस किस प्रकार पेडलर को हमारे लिए प्रिय बनाता है सो यू हैव टू वॉट यू हैव टू मैंशन हियर इज द काइंड ऑफ बिहेवियर दैट ही डज पेडलर जो है वो एक ऐसे व्यक्ति के रूप में उभरा है जिसमें नाजुक हास्य का भाव और ये नाजुक हास्य का भाव इस कहानी को कैसे हल्का बनाता है कैसे इसकी गंभीरता को कम करता है इस पर टिप्पणी करें द आंसर इज द ऑथर हैज पुट दैट सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर इन पेडलर द पेडलर इज नॉट एट ऑल बॉदर अबाउट मोरलिटी एंड ऑल दैट कि वो मानव वैल्यू की बात करे और सीरियस बातें करे गंभीर बातें करे नो ही डजेंट माइंड बेगिंग ही डजेंट माइंड स्टीलिंग स्मॉल थिंग्स हियर देयर ही रिजॉर्ट टू स्मॉल थेप्स ऑल्सो बट ही इज अ मैन ऑफ फिलोसफी ही टॉक्स बिग एंड दैट इज वॉट इज अ वेरी सटल सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर एक इतना तुच्छ आदमी एक छोटे से रैट ट्रैप का धंधा करते हुए दुनिया को रैट ट्रैप माने दिस इज वॉट इज सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर फिलोसफी ही फिलोसफाइज इज लाइफ एंड फील दैट इट डजेंट मीन दैट एवरीबडी विल गेट ट्रैप्ड इन इट वाइल फिलोसफाइजिंग ही मेक्स इट क्लियर that there are many who are not yet fallen to the trap and he treats himself as one of them at the same time though he is a part of that big trap he doesn't let that sadness come into him he is rather uh, considers himself and all human beings as rats prone to falling prone mane jhukao hona falling into the trap into the baits set before everyone in the form of luxury ashwaram and shelter etc etc but he makes sure that it does not close on him wo ye sunishchit karta hai ki us par wo trap ka darwaza band na ho jaye and this way there are one or two more instances that you have to mention in the story we move to the next question next question the reader's sympathy is with the peddler right from the beginning of the story kahani ki shuruaat se hi hum aur aap jo pathak hain ya shrota hain bhi unko peddler ke sath kuch sahanubhuti nazar aati hai aisa lagta hai ki hum logon ka dil uske sath hai Why is it so? ऐसा क्यों And is the sympathy justified? क्या ये जो sympathy है ये जो सहानुभूति है न्यायोचित है This is what is the question. You have to come out with your own answer. Why do we sympathize? Because we find he is a victim, victim of poverty, victim of this. uh no bad things like stealing sunken cheek rugged clothes unkempt hair a poor man walking from one end to another walking miles and miles to sell small things that gives us that makes him get our sympathy pehli baat first thing secondly even if he is stealing small small petty things we still like him thinking ki okay he is not a dacoit he is doing it to keep his own body and soul together you remember that word that had come body and soul together apne ko zinda rakhne ke liye bechara thoda sa churata hai aur chori karna uska intention nahi hai lekin jab zinda rehne ki zarurat hai 
تو وہ چرانے پہ مجبور ہو جاتا ہے دیٹ دیٹ از آلسو دا ریزن دیٹ میکس اس فیل سمپتھائز ٹوورڈ دس مین نیکسٹ وی فائنڈ دیٹ دس مینس لائف از ویری ٹف ہی از انڈر گوئنگ لوڈ آف پرابلمس فوڈ از ون پرابلم منوٹنس لائف از انادر پرابلم keep begging is the third problem that he didn't like at all but he had to do to keep his body and soul together and at the same time we also sympathize because he we feel that he is doing these things against his wishes wo apni ichha ke khilaf isme se kuch cheeze kar raha hai wo chor nahi tha but he was he was uh, forced to steal something to meet to make both ends meet The reader sympathized because he was the outcome of circumstances. Vatavran ka wo mara hu admi tha. Aisa humko lagta hai. Lagta hai ki nahi? Aapko bhi lagta hai ki ye jo dunia hai, uska ye shikar hua. Dunia ke chijon ka victim hua hai. And that's why we sympathize. He lived in and not basically a wicked man. Wo ko chalak admi nahi laga. آپ کو پوری کہانی میں لگے گا دیٹ ہی واز اے ویری سمپل ہارٹیڈ پرسن اے نوبل مین اٹ واز دا کمپلشن دیٹ ڈروو ہم ٹو ڈو سرٹن تھنگس انکلوڈنگ میکنگ ریٹ ریٹ ٹریپ اینڈ سیلنگ اٹ دیٹ واز اے کمپلشن فار ہم اینڈ سو اینڈ لاسٹ وی سی ہاؤ آنیسٹ ہی واز ہاؤ آنیسٹ فرام دا لیٹر وی کین میک آؤٹ ہی آنیسٹلی ایڈمٹس ان ڈائریکٹلی دیٹ آئی ہیو اسٹولن منی He honestly leaves behind even the clothes that were presented by, his, by Adla's father. He honestly admits that he is a thief, but he says, I don't want to be. His honesty comes forward when he returned the stolen money and left the manor house without stealing a single thing. empty handed including the clothes were returned the next question the story focuses on human loneliness and need to bond with others is kahani mein aapko kai udaharan milenge jahan par ekant se pareshan aadmi dikhai deta hai اور اس ایکانت سے بچنے کے لیے وہ کیا کر سکتا ہے سو اکیلے پن اور دوسروں کے ساتھ بندھن کی ضرورت ہم کو ہے آپ کو ہے اس پر لکھیں وچ آر دا انسٹینسیز یور ون وین دا کروفٹر سو ہارٹلی سو گلیڈلی ویلکمس این ان نون مین اے ٹوٹلی ان نون مین ہی از ویلکم بائی کروفٹر ان ہز بگ ہاؤس why he wanted company he wanted to do away with this uh, ekant this loneliness he wanted to chat share his feeling so much so that he even told him where the money is kept the kroners second instance when iron man iron master insists on peddler come and spend christmas with us i have no one at home except my daughter my wife is gone my two sons abroad and so please come we'll celebrate christmas together this also shows that iron master is also seeking company though of course he was seeking company of someone known because he thought this man to be his old colleague which turned out to be wrong third instance of company When the daughter who fully knowing well that his father is very angry with the stranger still insisted on his father and prevailed on him to have this man celebrate Christmas with us. These are the three instances that clearly show that man seeks company. Akela pan harik ko khata hai. یہاں پہ ایک کہانی میں بہت اچھی طریقے سے آتھر نے بتانے کی کوشش کی ہے کہ وی سی کمپنی نیکسٹ کوشچن ہیو یو ہرڈ آف این ایپیسوڈ 
where a good deed or an act of kindness has changed a person's view. एक कोई सी ऐसी घटना बताएं या कोई सा ऐसा उदाहरण दें अपने जीवन में जिसमें किसी का अच्छा कार्य दयालु का कार्य उसने उस व्यक्ति को बदल दिया हो दिस आंसर इज लेफ्ट टू योर सेल्फ बिकॉज ये प्रश्न इसलिए पूछा गया है कि आपने जैसे जैसे पेडलर का दिल परिवर्तित हो गया हृदय परिवर्तन का उदाह इस कहानी में दिखाई देता है क्या इस कहानी को पढ़ के आपका हृदय परिवर्तन हुआ है Do you also wish to become now a good soul, a noble soul, a kind-hearted soul? Do you remember any of such instances where you found someone changing his total behavior for the better? So, each of you have your own stories in life, your own experiences. Please write in brief about it. Next question. Who was the peddler? Very simple question. They are short questions. Who was the peddler? What did he sell and how did he make them? The answer is very simple. A poor man who sold rat traps by begging from different farms, different stores, the iron pieces. And because that was not enough and then he would sell. But because that was not enough, he will also indulge in small theft so as to keep himself alive. Begging and small theft. Of course, you should know that the author says even that was not sufficient for him to live a normal life. Next question. Why did the peddler think that the world was a rat trap? Bahut hi badhiya question hai. Why did he think the world to be a rat trap? The peddler thought so because the world has not been kind to him. Because he himself was a prisoner of circumstances. Bichara vatavran ka paristitiyo ka mara hua tha. Sabhi achhi cheezo se vanchit tha. Is liye aur rat trap bech raha tha. इसलिए उसके मन में रैट ट्रैप दुनिया के रूप में भी सामने आया ही थॉट सो बिकॉज द वर्ल्ड वॉज नॉट काइंड टू हिम यदि वो समृद्ध होता तो शायद दुनिया को रैट ट्रैप नहीं मानता फॉर हिम द वर्ल्ड ओनली ऑफर्ड ऑल बेट्स केवल जाल एंड बेट्स फॉर वॉट टू ट्रैप पीपल needy people poor people by offering small small pieces of cheese and pork etc and by cheese and pork means choti choti suvidhaen thodi thodi suvidhaen he thought the people not able to resist they keep on falling in the trap as prey get trapped in it through this bait next question how does the author use the metaphor red trap give example from the text and explain the red trap effectively used in a story symbolizes the world as a big red trap according to the author the entire world is nothing but a big red trap like the peddler's red traps the world also sets baits to set bait matlab lalat dena lob dena and what kind of baits joy shelter food clothing little money etc etc and as soon as anybody let himself be tempted and touches these baits the bait closes on him and his world comes to an end by the meaning it means he loses his freedom he has fallen into the hands of some people who will offer him loaves of bread and some small benefits keep him almost present even 30 kroners very small amount worked as a rat trap for him who got tempted and stole it 
and then you know what all happened. The rest is all there in the story for you to know. In the series of questions, we have next question. Uh, let me tell you before I answer or put another question that this chapter is one of the most important chapters of your class in class 12. Not only in terms of length, it is important, but also because it throws human values. Through this story, the author wants the reader to have those soft values which are needed for good living in a good society. At the same time, it has many melodrama, climax, anti-climax, climax, anti-climax. Anti and that makes the story very interesting also. Though there are only four characters, but the way those characters are woven among each other make this story interesting, long, and also from examination point of view, very important. So the next question is, what was the response the peddler received from Grey Cottage? Grey Cottage se, se kya pratikriya mili? What was that Grey Cottage? I won't go into the detail. Grey Cottage is the house on the roadside, house of a crofter, where he, where he is welcomed offered everything including tobacco. Tobacco is considered in those days, in those countries as something very good as to welcome a guest, to greet him. He was heartily welcomed and what not. Uh, served the peddler with supper, hot porridge and also played cards. Majoris, that's the game, and then made him comfortably sleep. Next question. Why was the peddler surprised? Peddler was surprised at the behavior of the crofter. Because to a crofter, he was a stranger. He was in the habit of knocking the door and being shooed away. Uski Adat Palagati Darwaza Katkatown or Koi Gusseme Ake Tirte Hue, Teoria Chalhate Hue, Darwaza Kolega or Gussem Bolega Chalo Hansabago. He was in that habit. Peddler was in that habit, obviously. You, me, and most of us behave like this only. We don't welcome. And we don't welcome a stranger at all. And we don't welcome a stranger looking so bad. But here, he was surprised because though a stranger wearing shabby clothes, rat traps all over body, hanging, dangling, Crofter welcomes him. That was a big surprise. Next question. Why was the Crofter so friendly? Answer is very short. He was friendly because he was seeking company. He was all alone. He wanted somebody to talk to somebody to play with, somebody to exchange pleasantries. He was living in isolation. And at the same time, he believed that people are to be trusted. And it was this belief that made him trust this stranger also. So much so that he told him about the money where he has kept, 30 kroner. Jo badi mushkil se wo kamata tha gaya ka dood bech ke. Displayed the money. Next question. Why did the peddler take the forest way? What happened to him there? Peddler ne jungal ka rasta kyo liya? Aur phir waha kya hua usko? The peddler took the forest way out of fear. Fear from being caught by the people whose money he had stolen, 30 kroner. Thoda sa paisa churaya tha, par churaya to tha, chori to ki thi. So he was scared. And that's the reason why he moved away from the main road into the forest. And lost, got lost in the forest roads. Jungle ki jo sadke hoti hai, pagdandiya jaisi, bhatak jaye, to bhatak jaye, fir nikalna mushkil ho jata. 
same happened to him. He was lost there. He could not find anybody. He could not see anyone. He could not come out of that forest. For hours he walked and walked and walked, searching for someone, some house, but could not. So he was lost. Next question, how did the peddler prove false to his host, the old crofter? Did he let himself voluntarily be swept away by the bait? Peddler, apne, uska jo mejban tha, host, crofter, usse jhootha sabit kaise kiya? Kya kahi jhootha sabit kiya? Prove false to his host. Yes, he proved false to his host. Host has totally trusted him. So much so that he had even told him where the money is kept. But this man betrayed the trust. Usne unke saath vishwad ghat kiya by stealing that money. So that was wrong in his part. Next question. What did the peddler realize? Being in the forest. Jungle mein rehte huye. Usse peddler ko kya laga, kaisa laga? Only the few hours back, he had given a philosophical sermon to Crofter and said, this world is a big trap where you, me and everyone, everyone is likely to fall to baits set by the rich people. The moment he was lost in the jungle, Peddler felt he too has fallen a prey now to someone's bait. Shikar ho gaya, wo bhi ab shikar ho gaya. Usse aisa mehsus hua ki himself has fallen a prey to the rat trap. The bait was set in the form of money, the kroners, which he stole from Crofter's house and out of fear drove him to run into the jungle dense forest and he was lost that lost feeling made him feel i have fallen into a trap now where i cannot escape from next question how did the peddler come to the forge that iron work ramsey iron work very simple answer he came to the forge, searching for some kind of place to rest. He had been trying to get out of the jungle, walking and walking and walking and walking. Evening had set in. He was tired, famished, hungry. Suddenly he sees some sound coming from some corner, thumping of iron. He looks at that, tries to follow the sound of that thumping and when he comes near he sees the light also light of what light of the furnace blast furnace where the pig iron is molted and so that is how he reached that place expecting some place to cool himself down some place to rest and it was the sound and the light that made him follow that path Next question. What were the activities that the peddler noticed at the iron work? Kya dekha usne waha? Why wasn't he stopped by the blacksmith? Jo lohar the unhunne se kyo nahi roka? Kyo nahi roka? Answer is very simple. Because it went unnoticed. बहुत सारी आवाजें आ रही थी उन आवाजों में ब्लैक स्मिथ ने को नहीं सुनाई दिया कि कोई आया है इट वाज नथिंग यूजुअल आल्सो आई मीन नथिंग अनयूजुअल वहां पे बहुत से लोग ऐसे आते थे इसलिए भी इन लोगों ने ध्यान नहीं दिया इट वाज नॉट अनयूजुअल फॉर वैगाबॉन्ड्स टू एंटर एंड कम डाउन टू द फोर्ज फॉर शेल्टर इन द नाइट पर्टिकुलरली इन विंटर्स नॉट अनयूजुअल these blacksmiths were in the habit of 
seeing such vagabonds coming in for shelter. So they did not bother to look at them. He went unnoticed. Coming to the first question, activities that the peddlers noticed, the kind of activities that were taking place was a big plant, all kinds of activities were taking place related to conversion of iron into steel. He noticed the crackling of charcoal, he noticed the burning of the furnace, he noticed helpers working out there and he also noticed big bellows, crackling of charcoal, waterfall sound and what not. And that is the reason why, because these, that is the reason why he went unnoticed right up to the uh, furnace. Now the next question. When was the iron master, or when the iron master saw the peddler in the forge, what did he say to him? You remember? What is the answer? The moment he saw iron master, the owner of that mill, the moment he saw peddler, he reacted in a very different way. He saw the peddler sitting near a furnace with all the rags. And he mistook that man, that peddler, with his old colleague, old comrade, by the name Nils Olaf. And so he asked him to come with him. Next question, why did the peddler decline the invitation of Iron Master to come home? Very simple answer. Decline karna matlab mana karna. Peddler ne Iron Master ke anurodh ko kyon kharit kiya? Kyon mana kiya? Because Peddler could understand that something is wrong. Peddler could understand that the Iron Master is not is, 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 is Iron Master is uh, taking him as one of his old acquaintances. Acquaintance matlab mene aapko bataya parichit. And because he thought him to be his old acquaintance, he is inviting him. So peddler thought, if I go, it will be like falling into another trap. Yadi mein jaunga, to ek dusre bait mein phans jaunga. Accepting his invitation to go home means going to lion's den. That is what the author says. Lion's den kyo? Waha jab jaunga aur sachai pata lagegi, to mujhe markadda lega. So he thought because he thought it better not to go more so when he has stolen money. Next question, why did the iron master insist peddler to come? Two reasons. One, he thought him to be his old colleague. You can write a little more on that. Second, for Christmas, for Christmassy evening, he wanted company. He knew that his daughter too would be happy to have someone and that someone will be his old colleague. And so for these twin reasons, he insisted that peddler comes along as Neil Soloff. Last, next question. Why did peddler agree to Edla's request? Edla ke kehne par fir wo kyon gaya? He did not agree to Edla's request as such, rather he was forced to agree. Usko sahmat hone ke liye mazboor kiya gaya. He was forced to agree. She persuaded him. Bahut manaya usne, tab wo gaya hai. So he did not agree as such. The peddler bowed down to her invitation just because the way Edla was pleading, bar bar jis tarikhe se anurodh kar rahi thi, Uske karan ye thoda pighal gaya aur uske saath chala gaya. Next question, what were the doubts in Edla's mind about Peddler when she met him at the forge for the first time? Kya shankayin thi Edla ke mind mein? Jab Edla usse pehli baar milti hai? Answer is very clear. You remember Edla 
saw this man lying with his hat over his eyes. So Adla picks up the hat and the moment he picks up the hat, the peddler who was lying suddenly gets up, sits down and looks trembling. Ghabrata ho dikhai diya, kaapta ho dikhai diya. So Adla thought, why is he so much this thing, uh, so much uh, scared? Why he looks, why this man looks so much afraid of? So she thought either he is a thief and stolen something or he is a aparadi, a criminal. Kuch to galat kiya hai jo police se bach ke bhaag raha hoga aur ya ye chor hai jis ne kahin chori ki hoge. This is what he initially thought. She initially thought. Next question. Why did the iron master send his daughter to peddler or to the forge? Did she get success in her mission? Yes. The answer is he sent his daughter to the forge to make sure that she succeeds in bringing this man to manor. According to him, this man was nobody but his old time comrade, Niels Olof. Answer to the second part, yes, she succeeded in her mission of convincing this peddler and making him come to the manor. Next question. Mention about the hospitality that the peddler received at Manor's house. Hospitality, I have told you, the peddler was given to the house. What all you have to write? Number one, the way the lady, the girl insisted in bringing him home. That itself is an example of hospitality. Second, the way she was allowed to sleep for hours and hours and hours together. She knew, they knew that he is tired. Three, a full-time valet was engaged for him for a total makeover. That valet did all cleaning of peddler, had his hair cut, beard shaven, nicely dressed, the ragged, ragged clothes were thrown off. Third example, every time, whether it is breakfast time or lunch time or fair time, the couple made the, the uh, miss and the father made sure that this man becomes a part of it. He enjoys fair. He takes food on time. He is a part of the Christmas Eve celebration and all that. They, they arrange everything for him in a very well organized way. And that makes us feel that the hospitality must have been of excellent quality. Now we have few questions whose answers are not given by me as such. The exercise is that you identify the concerned paragraph, read the paragraph, and frame answer correctly, frame it correctly. So the questions are, number one, how and when did the iron master know the truth about the peddler? How and when did the iron master know the truth about the peddler? And how did he react thereafter? Next, why was the peddler Amazed by Edla. Amazed, you know. Why was the peddler amazed by Edla? Next question. What was the sensational news that Iron Master and his daughter heard at the church? Sensational news card kya hota hai? Sensational matlab sansanik his khabar. And you remember what was that news that they received at that they heard at the church, write down that news. Next question, attempt the character sketch of Crofter. How did he treat the peddler? Now character sketch means what? Charitra Chitrana. 
क्रोफ्टर का चरित्र चित्रण करें आप कैसा आदमी समझते हो उसको उसके बारे में लिखना है संक्षिप्त में अटेम्प्ट द कैरेक्टर स्केच ऑफ क्रोफ्टर एंड हाउ डिड ही ट्रीट द पेडलर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड द पेडलर बिट्रे द कॉन्फिडेंस रिपोर्ट इन इम बाई क्रोफ्टर कैसे पेडलर ने उसके साथ विश्वासघात किया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन हाउ डिड द पेडलर फील आफ्टर रॉबिंग द क्रॉफ्टर रॉब करना मतलब मैंने आपको बताया लूट लेना कैसा लगा उसको लूटने के बाद एंड वॉट डज इज रिएक्शन हाईलाइट उसकी जो प्रतिक्रिया थी वो क्या बताती क्या प्रतिक्रिया थी डर गया था इतना डरा कि वो पगडंडियों में चला गया जंगल वहां भी खो गया सो यू हैव टू राइट दैट नेक्स्ट डिस्क्राइब पेडलर्स मीटिंग विथ आयरन मास्टर वाई डिड ई डिक्लाइन हिज इन्विटेशन आयरन मास्टर से जो मुलाकात हुई उसके बारे में थोड़ा लिखें और क्यों उसने मना किया जाने से नेक्स्ट कंपेयर एंड कंट्रास्ट द कैरेक्टर ऑफ आयर एंड मास्टर विद दैट ऑफ हिज डॉटर आई हैव डन दिस क्वेश्चन इन ए डिफरेंट वे अर्लियर आई हैव गिवन द आंसर ऑल्सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू कैन नाउ कंपेयर एंड कंट्रास्ट मतलब समानता और असमानता दोनों में उसको लिखें दोनों में क्या समानताएं थी और दोनों में क्या असमानताएं थी नेक्स्ट After doing the character sketch of father and daughter, now the question is about character sketch of peddler, as given in the story, as portrayed in the story. इस कहानी में जिस तरीके से peddler को चित्रित किया गया है उसको थोड़ा सा लिखें It's a very important question and very interesting too. Try your luck on this. Now the next question. describe the character of edla and her role in awakening the essential human goodness in the man with rat trap edla ke charitra ke bare mein likhein aur rat trap wale aadmi ke jo andar jo naitik gun the manav gun the usko bahar nikalne mein uski kya bhumika thi describe the character of edla and then her role in awakening that inert but essential qualities of goodness in man and with that i think uh, we almost come to an end of this chapter the questions answers are done and now you have few phrases phrases means jise hindi mein hum muhavara kehte hain ek tarike se kuch shabdon se milkar ek nayi bhavna aati hai wo phrase and few more difficult words just one beneath the other